Today, I'm sitting down with David Pence of EOS USA to discuss the current state of EOS and what the EOS USA team is doing to strengthen the community. What will be the biggest technical challenge for the EOS ecosystem moving forward? What do you see that being? Hmm, that's a great question. What's pushing the chain is storage, AKA EOS RAM. And I think a way to solve the problems of being able to have a lot of EOS RAM or the new Liquid Apps VRAM, because even if you say, oh, we've got VRAM, which is the middleware, great, do you have 10 petabytes of it? Because we're a D app producer and we need 10 petabytes. Most of the EOS BPs are gonna go, what? Most of the uh, DSPs are gonna go, what? That's a lot. Mm -hmm. So I think the biggest technical challenge is how to create and make widely available petabytes, if not exabytes of RAM or VRAM, AKA storage. And it's very typical back in the computer days, people would have a mainframe all a long time ago, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. You know, I was born in the 70s. But the bottom line is, is that even before I was born, they would have a mainframe that was severely limited with power. And so they have to stick other applications on other computers in mm -hmm. front of the mainframe called middleware. Why? Because the mainframe cost millions of dollars. It only had so much RAM or core or whatever. And so you so had, you had to splur off. Yeah. So this is the same thing. Maybe yeah. one day, if we go through the same progression, uh, the mainframe has middleware. You know, in the 70s, no middleware. In the 80s, it has middleware. And after a while, no more mainframes. Oh, the cloud, we don't need mainframes anymore. And everything's awesome. Well, guess what? We're not going to need the cloud anymore one day because if bandwidth goes to infinite, let's just say, in other words, if your cable modem was infinite speed, and your storage on your phone were infinite storage or on your PC or your Mac was infinite storage, would you store anything in the cloud? No. no. It'd just be right there. Right. you just have it with you all the time. Mm -hmm. The cloud would be dead. So you tell a lot of people, yeah, the cloud's going to die. People are like, what? It just seems unimaginable. It's unimaginable, but it's a cycle, right? And so we're going through the same thing of here's this mainframe, here's the middleware. Well, right now, EOS block producers have the mainframe. It's this little EOS baby in a box and uh, it's gonna grow up. And maybe one day, maybe version five of EOS 10 years from now is so fast, we don't need middleware anymore. But right now, <laughs> middleware is just being invented for EOS. I think that's kind of neat. Yeah, I think that that's really cool. It's gonna be really cool to see how this grows. And we're right on the front. We have a front row seat. We have this. a front row seat. We're sitting here watching it every day with EOS USA News. I love it. Is there any other pressing subject that you think isn't being paid attention to right now? You know, one of the things that Obviously, I knew you were going to have an answer for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. One of the things that we think is starting to happen, there was a top 21 block producer that mm -hmm. was uh, not up to snuff, let's just, just say. And this week, the, the world saw a top 21 BP get ejected from the top 21 because they actually uh, hurt the network. They hurt the community. And I think it's pretty valid. I mean, it may be kind of harsh to kick them out but for sure there be, should be some penalties or on reverse, maybe there's actually some qualifications to be a BP other than just votes. Maybe you have to be compliant. Right. You know, maybe you have to be redundant. And have to have certain marks on the scorecard. Maybe the and scorecard matters. Other requirements. Right. EOS USA has just achieved four check marks on EOS Nation's block producer scorecard and we're weeks away from a fully synchronized history plugin. Please help us continue our contribution to the EOS community by voting I vote for EOS USA on your next ballot. Well, David, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for all the answers and, and for um, answering things in layman terms for me. I really appreciate it. Awesome. And no My we'll, pleasure. we'll see you again soon. So all right. Thanks. That was David Pence of EOS USA and I am Leslie Haas. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below and we'll see you next time.